there we go now we are going back to all geared and I think that he is not going to expect that we succeeded let's see his reaction two points and be quick about it oh, please good sir a bit of courtesy so I look up and Bob's your uncle he downs half the barrel in one draft Geralt, over here. Oi, wait he looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey now, don't make me beg. More treats. Interesting. Show off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. Who are you really? Gauntero Odin, also known... Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grant their wishes. That'd be downright noble if you didn't always demand something in return. Law of the market. I was not the one to coin the phrase, nothing comes free. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. And that's the reason why you are not going to tell me. You actually control time or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Hmm. Let us say time has always fascinated me. So, I taught myself how best to use it. Why time, of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. Length, width, height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? Come now. <laughs> Strange, okay. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with all geared. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the Temple of Lilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. Oh. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my soup? I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? 
I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness. Just one of my many qualities. You toss this fly in my soup? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <coughs> What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Aye. Got it. Hold that! Your friend, the medic, she were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. It is time to end this. Okay, let's go and talk with Shani. Maybe she has something interesting to tell me. I mean, she was looking for me, so... I guess that means that she needs me. Let's find out. Ah, she's upstairs. Who would have guessed it? Shani? Oh, Geralt. Good thing you're here. What happened? Somebody break in? This? Uh, no. Just getting ready to move. Oh! What? When? when where to? Uh, not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin Bound. Never mentioned you'd be moving. Any intention to, either. I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn them down? Just say no? Uh, perhaps I could've. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. Um. I understand. Any chance we'll see each other again? Someday, I'm sure. So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows him. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Premathine Shakeslock, claims Olgird von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgird asked the Professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The Professor, where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mage hunters? Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me, you know that. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend. Get inside free and easy. Just might. That's not really assuring, you know. Ah! So how are things at the Academy these days? You mean since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. They in the same bind? To Radovid, there's little difference between the two. Seems to tolerate you well enough. Because he needs me. For now. So the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry.
And here we are. Yes. Halt! By order of King Radovid, no one's allowed inside the academy. Not even lecturers? No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <clears throat> Bruno? Hey? Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Hmm. All right. But alone. Which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get chite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. How? Don't know, but I'll figure something out. Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right. Let me in. And they didn't hear you say that? A little bit suspicious. But fine. I'm going to trust you. Mm, can I jump from here? Or should I... Oh, there's normal way going down. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I could die from jumping from that high up. This is a much safer way, right? I'm close. If he ever let me. Yes, thank you, finally. Oh, again, drowners. Oh, yeah. Come and get me. Nice. No, 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 wait, I need to loot them. Geralt! Psst! Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Grab the line! Where'd you get the rope? <sighs> Long story. But we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. It was nothing. Really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. And now I cannot go down there. Okay. Uh given me no choice. Come on, I thought that I hit a little bit better than that. But it seems I didn't. Unfortunately. Really? You're going to hit me? Come here and fight. Don't stand so far away. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Now to loot these guys, at least. Now that I cannot loot the drowners that are down there. Um, and yeah, I really should sell my loot because I'm almost full so it's going to be lock tight need another way in you leave a window open maybe it's going to be a little problem
and almost out of food. Come on, Geralt. Nope. Okay. Is this the way in? I mean, that's the window. You said you need to check out the windows. Okay, maybe balcony. Yes, balcony. Oh, wow. Well, that's secure, definitely. And one more thing, come on, let me loot it. Ah, stupid book, okay. Shattered mirror, no sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered by a sound, maybe. Someone look at it and scream? Well, that's a rare thing. When people are screaming and breaking glass. Julian Alboko's lesser key. Tomes about demons. Dusty as they come. Franco? Is that you? Leave the bedpan in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shan't be eaten today. Professor Shakeslock. Who the blazes? How'd you get in? Get out! I know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, no, no! Out! Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. <laughs> what demon? Feigned ignorance. <laughs> Please. You know. Gaunter old dim. Evil incarnate. Oh. He didn't send me. But he is why I'm here. I'm a witcher. Hmm. A mutant. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Could be. Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I'm one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant. But not enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends. But that's beyond my control. I came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm. A witcher. Then it follows I needn't fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter Odim is oh. and how to get rid of him. Oh. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analysed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim. At times, Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. Hmm. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind. Yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims and thrives on facts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts. 
which drive their parties to madness. Wow. Know anything else about the man? Gauntor Odim is no man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms. Forget about him or die. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? He told me himself. He paid me a visit once. Fascinating meeting that was. I was blind already, but saw him clearly. He smiled at me. Said he was honored I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. He drew the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me, you see. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. Olgierd signed one of these pacts with him. Brilliant deduction. But have you guessed why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know, his fortune soured. He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgierd wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgird and Odim. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. A pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Old Dim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgierd loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother. Oh. Olgierd chose, and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. His fortune restored. Olgierd tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It is worse. Many illnesses are treatable, but play with evil. Medicine can be much harder to find. So did Olgierd kill his own brother? No. Oh, no. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgierd merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. Well, that's nothing better than the first thought, so... Not really killed him, but signed his death. Why was Olgierd out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? <laughs> his heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he'd loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference and die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Odim at his own game. Meaning? Odim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree and can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. The sole thing he truly desires, human souls. Odim left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tomes. Strange. Unless... 
unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Hmm. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasance itself. <laughs> Wow. He really did die the moment he left the circle. And do we have anything else to loot? Okay, so we are leaving this place and I'll see you when I get to the temple and when I get to Olgierd. Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. Wasn't me who chose it. I assumed so. But since we're here, I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt market an hour ago. Look closely at it. Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? Iris was tired of living half alive, half dead. Thinks she just wanted it to end. Can't blame her. I condemned her to terrible suffering. Iris, what a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What? What's happening? I feel as though, as though the hot irons pierced my chest. Sorry to have kept you waiting. So glad to see everyone's friend. How do you feel, Von Everick? A little less troubled? Lighter in the heart? Or dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? Your soul. You forget. The pack states you can take it only once you fulfilled three wishes and... And we stand together on the moon. Well, what do you know? Oh. What? No. We... We had a pact. The moon is there. There! Not here. I gave you what you wished for. Here, on the moon, our contract you, you. fulfilled. Of course. You cheated me. I never cheat. Wait. Do not interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. You grant wishes, right? Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. Huh. 
You wish to give your soul for his? No, but we can play for them. I lose, you take mine and all Geert's. But if I win, you release us both. What do you propose we play? Gwent? Don't know. Maybe we can bet on a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. Seen me do it. Hmm. Very well. But we shall do this my way. Oh. What's happening? You wish to play, so let us play. I shall tell you a riddle. Solve it, and both you and Olgird will be free. And if I don't? <laughs> then we'll all three go for a wild ride. It's what you proposed, is it not? The riddle. Let me hear it. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright, Fair maids, rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I shall grin. What was that supposed to be? You tell me. What am I? You're going down. We shall see, my friend. You must find me before the sand in the hourglass runs out. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. What is this place? Yeah, where am I? Plenty more when it came. Just remember. Come on. Monsters weren't part of the deal. My world, my rule. Cry and I weep, yawn and I sleep, smile and I too shall grin. Hmm. Something that repeats all I do? Maybe an echo? Echo. No dice. You can't possibly ogle an echo. Children delight in me. Elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I too shall grin. Damn it, what are you? Well, there's more than one pot at the moment. Come on, what's what's up with this now? There shouldn't be anyone else except me. Don't leave me here. Shani, hang on, I'm coming. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. Okay, continuing onwards with these games. The old man did tell me that this guy loves to play with the souls. I guess this makes sense. What 
is it about swords that turns men into utter fools when they see one for the taking? By a thread, of which reminds me. Time. Well, indeed, it is. Children delight in me, elders take fright, fair maids rejoice and spin. Children and young folk like swings, could be scary to old folk too. Uh, doesn't fit the other verses though. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle and ogle me till you're insane, but no oh, blow can harm oh. me, cause me pain. Mm, what could that be? Oh, and no, I hate these guys. Oh. Nice, this was easy actually. Uh, this is not good. Come here. Yes. Just don't stop. A family tomb. To all I appertain, by some am shunned and disdained. Could be family, I guess. Wouldn't match much else in the riddle, though. Repeat the riddle. To all things and men I have seen, and yet by some am shunned. Maybe inside the house. Hmm. Children delight in me. Mirror. So this is where you're hiding. <laughs> Come now. Come on, Geralt. Hmm. Doing that forever. Care to wager on it? Come on. Not so much time left. I'll still get you. So you say, yet I will. Where's the next one? Doing that forever. Care to wager on Gotta be some mirror here you won't shatter. Seek and ye so Wonder how you'll shatter a sheet of water. Want, I'll still get you. So you say. water behind this wall hmm break down the wall and the water will rush through here now let's see if this is going to work seems just in time I still cannot trust him enough to say that he is gone. So, any better? Yeah, thanks. Wine's revived me a bit. <laughs> this plonk could revive a corpse. An exquisitely rank vintage. You know what, though? It's good at last to taste something real. Uh, so, have at it. Tell me what the blaze has just happened. Your brand's gone. Guessing that's a good sign? 
First off, you tell me what it's like to have a heart of stone. <sighs> it's wonderful, at the start. You feel no fear, no angst, but also no concern. No care for anyone, not even those you loved. And gradually, you lose them. Well, you know how it ended. Yeah, I know. What about your senses? Taste, smell? All there. At first, I savoured the world like never before. It was stronger, more clear. How's that possible? I did not wish for a heart of stone. That was a mere side effect. I wished to win back Iris's hand and have my fortune restored. And then to live like there was no tomorrow. And thus I lived until... until I ceased to feel anything at all. What a joy to be done with it. Because I am done, right? Will you tell me what happened? Odim decided to have some fun at my expense. Devised a game I was supposed to lose. Seems he'd forgotten the training you put me through in doing the undoable. So only to protect myself. In doing so, I put you in harm's way. Forgive me. <sighs> well, don't have to worry about him anymore. You're safe and free. I thank you. Though I've no notion what to do with this freedom now. Mira took everything. Everything I loved. All I held dear. Not true. Got your heart back. A bitter victory. Now at last I sense how much I've lost. I have a heart again. Yet all it feels is grief, sadness, and defeat. My life is a ruin. You've handled tougher situations. You'll figure this one out. Got a company of faithful comrades waiting. Got a home, your fortune. No. I cannot live as I did before. So what'll you do? I don't know. But one thing's clear. It's time I took fate into my own hands. Lived life anew. And truly, this time. Sounds like a plan. I'll never forget what you did for me, Witcher. I have something for you. Can't accept this. You can. And must. This saber's been in my family for generations. Even when I'd lost all else, it remained at my side. Means a great deal to me. All the more reason why I can't take it. Do me the honor. This'll mark the start of my new life. And such a weapon could be right useful to you. Thank you. Ow! Sorry. You needn't be. I thank you again, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Good luck to you too. It seems we are done with Everick and also done with Odin. Nice! We have few side quests from this DLC so we are going to take them down before we head to the... Um, what's the name of the second DLC? Wines and something... I forgot. Never mind. 
before taking on the second DLC, we're going to finish all the side quests from the first one. And I'll see you in the first of the side quests in the next video.